morning zen in paradise in paradise oh, 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 oh. let her drilling she's been out there sniffing and running and roxying let's go see the girl oh, oh great outdoors <coughs> the girls came yesterday wonderful folks and did a whole bunch of photographs and uh good stuff good stuff walking the dogs and everything and um you know doing that kind of stuff but anyways that's what's going on here and then uh out here with grandpa and look the monkeys grass is blooming Good stuff, good stuff. Anyways, I think, uh, uh, thank you, Grandpa. I breathe in, you breathe out, you breathe in, I breathe out. Two-way street, buddy. Anyways, we're gonna get this all picked up, but the monkey grass is doing really good. And has some folks out here last night having a little fun and everything. And I think we're gonna do that this um, next full moon. Have a little full moon party and stuff. Uh, it seems like that one's living, but the other two, that's uh, not doing too good. So, God bless them. Uh, we're going to get some more trees to put along in there. Some just really messes that stuff up. I may have done it with some plant food. That's probably it. But the other stuff, it just seems... I've planted more, but they all die, seem like, right there for some reason. So, but anyways, this is Roxy and her little leather toy oh and there's uh timber i went to walk uh pizza this morning and he was out there <laughs> it is nice out it wasn't raining or anything give me that roxy i'm gonna get it oh i'm gonna get it oh oh, oh i'm gonna oh oh she's got something good she's gonna kill it but a really nice lady came yesterday virginia Thank you for Virginia for all these wonderful donations and blankets and animal stuff and uh, get your toy, get your, get it, get it, get it, get it, Roxy, bring it in. Hey, get that, get that, get that, get that. All right, you, I'm gonna get it if you're not gonna get it. I'm gonna get it. All right, get it here, here, honey, get it. All right, all right, we're confused. <laughs> all right, let me put a, now that she's got it nice and dirty, put a few cookies on it for, you know, gourmet and everything. Come on, come on, come on. Yeah, that was a, it was dark. Of course, uh, Noah has torn up his bed. He's that way, he, he's pulled in that big bed from outside and uh, oh my gosh. They've been uh, really doing it today. Uh, pulled it from outside. And, uh, <laughs> yay. You know, got to have it all straight. Anyways, yes. You're next, honey. But Prue, Prue is going home at 2 o'clock. Or on Tuesday, 2 o'clock. Where did I get to? Ooh. Woo! All right. And uh, anyways, uh, Tuesday, hopefully she's going, an author is coming out. Um, uh, Colleen Lanier, uh, really, uh, um, I'm interested in reading one of her books. It's a, it's a, you know, a helpful book. Anyways, I haven't, I, I don't really understand it, but she was a nurse and it's like overcoming stuff and, and dealing with things and you know, that kind of stuff, death and everything. So it's not a morbid uh, thing. It's just a, a beautiful thing that, uh, you know, people, we all die, but you know, how we handle it and, and the, the lessons learned from, you know, life. There you go, Timber, get that stuff. Anyways, we got a lot to do today and I, I can't comment on her books because I know nothing about it, but kind of got the, the 
gist of it, but the bottom line is that beautiful lady's coming out to um, adopt Prue. Everybody's all happy. Her little tail is all healed up from the allergies and everything. And thank you, Dr. Chapel, for helping this little girl. And uh, Nicole came one day and says, Herb, she's getting fat. <laughs> Yeah, so we got her on a diet. That girl hasn't missed a cook. She, you could see every rib on her when we got her out of the shelter and everything. But it's going to be a beautiful day. Got a lot of good stuff to do. Got um, laundry going. Wearing the cool blue. www.cvaag.org is where you can help. Uh, donate today. Become a monthly hero donor. Got a lot of, a lot of good stuff. Uh, I'm going to start on the 22nd of this month is their second shots and second worming and uh, we're going to start working on that we'll probably get uh, pulled mom out of there uh, rearrange her and that way she can dry up they're all eating food and pooping and being happy and doing the thing but uh, we're going to start working on them and getting them all spayed and and everything since they're all girls they're all spayed so you know it's a little bit more shroom <laughs> Huh, pumpkin. That's Frosted Flakes. Brooke really loves, uh, she was carrying little Frosted Flakes around uh, yesterday and she might want to adopt her, but we got to get them fixed before they can go to the home. And Nix is just such a lovely, good mama in there. She's in there hiding probably from them. Maybe her nips are sore. And uh, there's little bitty. They're such happy little dogs. The other one has a little bit of a ringworm. But uh, the other ones don't. I don't know. So we're putting the stuff on them, and it's uh, healing up pretty good. And Timber's happy, and that's what's going on here at the, the rescue today. I got to get peanut up and uh, get uh, get going and get some of that. Um, go get some dog food and, and everything. We got plenty of litter, plenty of cat food, and uh, a friend of ours is coming out next weekend. Um, she's a cat. Uh, rescuer and foster and everything and so we're going to help her with some items for her cats and all that stuff because we got a lot of good stuff going on and anyways I always have a lot of good you know it's just for me it's like all the good stuff is for the animals you know it's uh that's what's good stuff is when you're helping things that can't help themselves and uh they had the pool out yesterday hopefully we got some good pictures we can post uh, that the girls took there's Nick's no, she wants to. There's Frosted Flakes. And then the other two. And, yeah, the good baby. Yo, oh, whoa, 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 your butt. Whoa, oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. You ready for some rub-a-dub-dub? -dub? Puppies need some grub. Well, I'm off to the store to get pedigree. Uh, dry and canned. Uh, you know, they got great deals at Pet Sense Tractor Supply and our uh, lifelong friends there at Southern State. So please donate today. Uh, you know, um, uh, we have our wish list on Amazon Prime. Thank you, Karen Sumner, my, my lifelong crush since fourth grade. <laughs> I was wearing green jeans, and she had a cast on her arm where she fell off her horse, and uh, pretty little eyes and blonde hair, and I fell in love. <laughs> we went steady for a week in fourth grade, you know, and, and on her thing is like uh, on uh, Beaumont, like old school Beaumont or whatever it's like who did you have a secret crush on in high school and boy yeah I had a bunch but I, I haven't found my name yet <laughs> Everybody, there comes her run <laughs> anyways uh, there uh, Timber I have a crush on Timber Timber's got a crush on the cookies I hand out he's been getting cookies all morning look at that tail going he's popping little halos you can see the rainbows and butterflies and all that stuff well anyways i'm off to help the animals and have a fun day man i tell you i got that uh uh shingles vaccine thursday afternoon when they were saying we might have to redo your hip there boomer <laughs> and i was like oh no not my hip and maybe your knee <laughs> i was like oh my god not the knee. <laughs> ah, and so anyways, I was like, shit. So they were x-raying me again. Uh, I, I think I, after all the x-rays and CT scans and everything I've had in the past four years or so, my shoulders and all that stuff, and my arms and hands and 
everything. I, I think I glow in the dark. Uh, oh, you have such a nice glow about you. Yeah, I'm a radioactive. Yeah, I'm the walking Chernobyl. But anyways, uh, they uh, they said that, and so they they I had a meeting uh, or a, an appointment at the nursing. I couldn't figure out what it was for, and they said, oh, it's for your second uh, uh, shingles vaccine. So I got it, man. That was Thursday afternoon, man. I've been in bed for three days. That shit sucks. I would rather have shingles than that. I'm thinking, what did I do? Get COVID while I got a shot? I mean, it's, ah, oh, man. I want to thank Marisol and Crystal and everybody for stepping up. I mean, literally, it just, man, that, that shit sucks. <laughs> It's an old guy shot, you know, and I was like, well, they never did. Yeah, you know, uh, um, just, oh, my God. Anyways, yeah, uh, today I'm feeling just pasty instead of dying pasty. And, uh, but, yeah, that, that, that shingles vaccine just, yeah, you, know, you don't want it. Uh, uh, well, some people might have a better reaction. I'm not telling you how to do your medical stuff, but. I'm not going to get one ever again. <laughs> I think uh, I can cure my hip and knee without it, putting them in there. <laughs> I'm just, you know, going to think well, um, diddy well, you know, um, uh, it's bad enough, man. Two years, shoulder surgeries, two years in a row. And then this, I'm done with surgeries with the, you know, it went, you know, got my throat. And it was funny, I was telling the doc when I saw the surgeon, I don't need to see him for another eight months. I said, look what you did in my throat. <laughs> he looks at me. <laughs> ah, anyways, wonderful people at Wake Baptist. Wonderful people everywhere you go. And then there's the idiots. That's why I have an animal rescue, because sometimes people can't live up to the responsibilities and uh, or just don't know how to care for wonderful animals before here's my advice before you get an animal read up on it read up on the breed read up be prepared for everything bad and then when it turns out well what a joy but you know if you get a puppy it's the chewing the destruction the training uh it took a lot for rin tin tin to be rin tin tin and you know with the training and everything now they're bird squirrel Anyways, uh, now they're canine behaviorists instead of, you know, trainers and stuff like that. It's, it's, you got to be uh, up with the lingo, I guess. Um, but, uh, you know, it, you invest time in your animal and it will pay off just wonderfully um, later on. The, early, the earlier you uh, uh, get uh, obedience courses and stuff like that, it's just as important as vaccines. You know, a well-behaved dog, a socialized dog, um, a spayed, a neutered dog, if you're not showing them and stuff like that, um, you know, is a, is a wonderful thing. And the reason why we're here is because people don't take the time to understand what it takes or look at the big picture of the pet overpopulation crisis. And so we're here doing the best we can over 6,000 animals later. That's wonderful. But we really need to um, do more. You know, each and every day I always want to do more and uh, than what we did yesterday. And boy, I tell you, last three days, I want to do, I mean, getting up and walking around is more than I did yesterday. Ah, shingle shot. Oh, my God. Anyways, I'm off to help the animals. And, uh, you know, uh, about my hip and knee, a limping man is still walking. <laughs> I think I'll be okay without all that crap. Anyways, uh, except, you know, my original hip and knee will be fine to work with love for all i'm off to help the animals come on out seven days a week nine to two uh but you got to call first those are the parameters we can make appointments sorry i didn't mean to misinform anybody but uh 336-394-4106 and www.cvaag.org is where you can help become a monthly hero and give us a call uh, you can email me at herbmonise at msn.com and we are all praying for Prue. She is such a sweet, loving dog and she's doing really good, so we're all happy for her. Anyways, I'm off to help the animals. Love for all. Woo woo! Oh, my finger. There it is. I'm going in.